Hi, this is Julie with Three Sisters Sundries. Today I would like to do um, a Christmas uh, mini album. Uh, this is my fall one that I did. Um, I will put a link in the description box to, um, to that video. But um, I also wanted to show you how I stored my pages that I took out of here. I put them all in this little bag with the ribbon that I had tied on top so I can put them in uh, next fall. So um, I want to do Christmas and I have a bunch of doodle bug papers and some sprinkles and some mini jewels and things that I would like to look at to put in there and some cute little washi tapes. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the first page is pretty small. It is only like one inch by seven eighths of an inch um, or one and maybe one and an eighth inch. So uh, let me just begin by looking through the papers I have. I may have to just use a little sticker or um, just some cute paper or something in there. I have these this border from, let's see, it's called Fancy Frills from Santa Express. So this is an older, an older line, but I've got all these cute little um, tag stickers. So I thought I would see about putting one of those in this first little pocket because it is so tiny and I think these would fit. So let me find some paper. I may just go with this green. Um, let me see if I have a smaller scrap I can use. Be right. Okay, I found the perfect size. Uh, looks like I will need to cut down the height just a tad. Let's see, what are we at? One and a half. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, maybe one and a quarter. I'm going to cut it down just a little bit bigger than one and a quarter. I think that will do it. So let's pick out a sticker. Oh, we've got that cute wreath that would look really cute. Got a cute little Rudolph that's red. Oh my gosh, look at that bird. I might have to use that bird. That is adorable. But it has a little um, tag. And so I may put a little bit of twine through that. Just so that... Because you know, it's a tag. You have to put something on it, right? I didn't get that out. Okay, I found my twine. So I think I'll just put a tiny little bit of red to bring out the red in that. And I will cut a tiny little piece here and put it through there. And I'll probably have to trim a little bit of that off because it's going to be way too long for that little pocket. There we go. Oh my gosh. That is a cute little bird. Okay, well that looks kind of, kind of funny with only that much twine. But oh well, we'll stick it in the pocket and see how it looks. Oh my gosh, I almost need some tweezers to put that one in. Okay. Oh look, that is a cute, oop, that is a cute beginning to that little book. Okay, next page. I also have these little glitter stickers. Um, and I think I can fit one of these little snowmen or a candy cane. They're kind of big and it will probably take up the entire uh, the entire 
page, but they are awfully cute. Uh, let's see, what kind of paper do I want to use for that? Got this cute brown polka dot. Let me set that one aside. This cute brown polka dot with all those colors. So let me let me do this one. Let's cut this at an inch and a half. Order. And then we will utilize those cute candy canes on the back as long as I remember to put it the right direction. Okay. Okay, so there's our candy canes on the back. And I think maybe we can just put some little, um, some little enamel dots or something. So there's that candy cane. Let's see. Maybe we want to tie a little bow around that. There it is. Okay, let's tie a little red bow around that. Okay, and I'm going to really stick that down so that when I tie my bow, the sticker won't come off of the page. Oh, that's so tiny. Oh, goodness me. Can you tie a bow with tweezers? I don't know. Let's see. I need them for that part. There we go. Look at that. Tweezer bow. Okay. All right, and then trim that off. And these are probably not the right scissors to be doing that with. Okay, and I may, oh, I think it'll stay together. There, okay, so there's the second page, and then here's the third page with the candy canes, but I think I will add a few little enamel dots. And I've got these little, well, actually they're flat back pearls. I've got these tiny, tiny, little uh, red and white flat back pearls that maybe I will add to that or I've got um, in my sprinkles where are my sprinkles I've got these little little starlight mints so maybe I'll put one of those on those are so cute little tiny starlight mints I think I will add one right down there and maybe some little flat back curls. Let me grab a knife, cut those apart. And lift up. There's my page. Let's see, maybe one there. And let's do a. Is that white? I can't tell. I think this is a white one. I'll put that one up here. And I think that will probably be enough. So there is that cute little... Oops, sorry. Ugh. Okay, there's that cute one and then this little candy cane sticker. So let's put that in our next page. Got to check that size to make sure it fit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there's our next page. So cute. Okay, so we have that one also. So let's see what else we have. Um, <clears throat> oh, I've got these cute little 
uh, milk and cookie sprinkle shapes um, and we could do some milk and cookies for Santa maybe so let's see what kind of paper we have that we could do that on let's see what it show up on there I have this cute polka dot or let's see I have some plain red also some plain red scraps that maybe that would be better on uh, let's see I don't know let me take these out so I think they're on a clear plastic sheet so I can see if they'll show up I think they'll show up on there I'm going to use this okay and there's a stripe on the back so we can use that too let's cut let's see I need I want it to go that way I need an inch and a quarter And then an inch and a half. And that way I will get, oh, I think that's too wide. Well, let me do it on the other cutter, it'd be easier. I need to do just shy of an inch and a quarter on there. Okay, make sure that's gonna fit. That's it. Okay, so let's find our milk and cookies. Okay, let's do this one that's smiling with its eyes closed. Milk and a cookie for Santa. I think I'll move that up a little bit. on straight and then put a cookie down here and put a cute little heart maybe I'll do red since it's Christmas and there's our milk and cookie for Santa so cute I think I need to move that cookie over just a bit it's kind of close to the edge Okay, let's see what do we want to do on the back. Um, I've got some, uh, let's see, got these other stickers. Maybe a couple of these little snowflake stickers would be cute on here. Just some little red and green ones. And let's see, do we have a... White. I don't have a white one. Let's see. Maybe a lighter green one. Don't overlap them. There we go. Just some little snowflakes. Will be good for the other side. I think I'll turn it this way because we've got those flat back pearls and they will kind of put the other fatter or thing on the other side okay so now we have two more pages okay so we have what do we want to do for our next page I've got this cute uh, paper from I think this is Christmas Town it is Christmas Town and I think I might just want to use that just as that paper. So let me cut a little piece. See what direction we want to go. Hmm. Turn 
this this way and cut it at one and just shy of one and a quarter. And then one and a half. Let's see, let's cut Santa in there. Oh dear, we cut off the little reindeer, but we got a full Santa head. So we've got little Santa, and then we've got hearts. Oh dear, the hearts are going the other way though. Hmm, let's see. I might need to cut a different different spot. Let's see, my hearts are going this way. Santa's always going to be upside down. Hmm, kind of interesting. Well, okay, I guess we'll do it that way. All right, well, maybe we can add some cute little jewels. Let's see, maybe a little jewel. I have a very tiny one somewhere in here. Uh, here it is. It's really tiny. Just, uh, let's see. Tiny clear one. I can add to Santa's hat the pom-pom even though it's going to be upside down and maybe a little a little yellow one for the top of the tree to make it look like there's a little star on the tree a little it's going to be kind of big but that's okay there so even though Santa's upside down he has a little oh it's not going to stay though I might have to glue that Okay, so we have a little jewel on the tree and a little jewel on Santa's pom-pom. So now we need to figure out what to do on these hearts. Um, let's see, maybe another sticker. Let's see, will a stocking fit? Uh, it's kind of big. Maybe a little snowman. Would snowman look good on red hearts? I don't know. Let's see, what else do I have? I've used my... No, I haven't used a candy cane, have I? One of these. Is that too much red? I don't know. Let me think about it. Okay, I decided to use a present. I've got these little present stickers here, and they will just fit just right. I'm going to put a present there. Oh, shoot, i got to get the little spots out of that sticker. Okay, and then I thought I could just put a little heart. Um, I've got some hearts. Let's see, is this one too big? Maybe a red one. There we go. A little glittery heart. It's kind of hard to see, but it's cute. You can it shows up because of the cute glitter. Okay, and then we lost Santa's dot. Okay, I am back and uh my little gemstone is dry, and then my battery died in my camera, so it's been a day or two. Um, anyway, I've got one more page and the back cover to do, so I was just looking through here to see what else I could do, and I would love to put one of these little snowman stickers they are so cute, and I know that that little one would fit in my uh, in my book here. So, okay, I think I'm going to go with this polka dot. So, I'll get my trimmer over here. I think that will be cute against the snowman. One and a half. There we go. Okay. 
That's right. Okay, and then we will put one of these cute little snowmen on here. He's so cute. Let's see. I wonder if um, one of these little snowflakes would fit under his head just a tad. There, like that. That's pretty cute. Well, okay, so on the back side, I wanted to put one of these little candy canes. So let's see, not a very big one will fit, so I think we'll go with this one. I might want to put, hmm, I don't know. Got this little skinny washi, but I don't know if, uh, Have this little skinny kind of white glittery. Alrighty. Now I think I'll kind of put it on an angle a little bit. And then I wonder if I should put some. You know, I've already got a peppermint thing in here. But maybe I'll put another one with this little guy. And then I've got these little white enamel dots here that I can put somewhere. Maybe right there. Okay, so there's the last page. Come on, folks. Okay, and then we have the back cover. And I need to find something a little bit smaller because that is a tiny area. Okay, I found a tiny little tree on this other sticker sheet. So I just need to decide what paper to back that on, I have this pretty green glittery that I just got. I think I might cut off a piece of this. Okay, and then, see where's our little Christmas tree? I don't know whether this is going to stick to the glitter or not. But I think I want to put a little tie on that. Let's make sure that's going to fit. I think it will. Okay, I think I want to put a little red bow through the top of that tag. So I'm going to use a little bit extra of this twine and cut it off because it's going to be really hard to tie a tiny bow in there. Where's my tweezers? And then I have to push that over to one side to get it to fit. There, I think that looks cute. And there's our last page. Oop, there we go. Oh, get our get my bow in there. Have to get my tweezers in there and Rearrange that bow just a tad. 
Okay, that should work. There we go. Look how cute. Okay, so let's see the entire thing. Got the little birdie in the front. So cute. The big glittery candy cane. The candy cane paper with the little embellishments. And this cute striped paper. Some of that stuff out of the way. It's trying to focus on that. Oh, cute striped paper with the snowflakes. And the milk and cookies for Santa. And our little present with a red heart. And I might... Oh, I can't turn that upside down. And then we've got our little uh, Santa and tree and gingerbread man paper. And then our little snowman with the snowflake. Glittery snowman. And our cute candy cane and our little tree tag. So I think we just need a little bit of this cute plaid ribbon on the top. So um, the way I've been doing this to get this to go in through this thing is split that ring apart just a tad, put the end of the ribbon in, and just carefully pull it through. And that gets the ribbon through this little loop without too much effort and damage. So let's just tie a little knot out of this cute plaid ribbon. And then trim There we go. Oh my, isn't that so cute? Cute, cute. There we are. Little Doodlebug mini Christmas album. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.